This is BS News, coming to you live from Kadashiro Bank, where the Phantom Thieves have just been sighted breaking out and evading security forces. BS News? BS News! How can I pass up the opportunity? Uh, we're the BS Gamers, then! Aren't we square? <laughs> and I'm the Opinionator, and I cannot help but notice this oh. uh, setup right here. <laughs> I too have noticed that. I can feel it. This or not. way. And we gotta go straight to the exit. And now look at the portrait. What? Like when you, when you, the security level? I can see it. Oh, there <laughs> we go. Just pulls of dollars. So is Makoto going to awaken? Let's find out. There's no end to them. Guys. You seem to be in quite a pickle. He's just so normal looking, <laughs> except he's dumb looking. It's, it's so great. I really like Kaneshiro a lot, but I, I mean, I really like the Kamoshida too. True. I mean, in terms of appreciating yeah, them yeah. as a villain, you know. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? Sneak around? It's, it's like his way. Pounds. Oh yeah. Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. What, the Phantom Thieves? It's time you disappear. Or Makoto. There we go. <gasps> Managing a bank is tough. That's why I make it a case to kill troublesome customers. Well, Billy, as a longtime retail employee, what do you think of the policy of killing troublesome customers? <laughs> Yeah, I better make a quick mementos trip. <laughs> Don't want that treasure to develop very much. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Oh, I like that! Shadow Kaneshiro, Metaverse Kaneshiro, just referred to the real world as that other world. Yeah. Aww. Please stop! I'll eliminate others besides my goods. You've no need to worry. The others are trash, but you, you're okay because you're Your must. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. You know how we usually try and guess what one of the sins and it turns out to be another? Maybe his is lust. He's made a lot of references to beautiful Kamoshida women. Kamoshida was lust. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. What a wonderful, upstanding human being, Pig, you are. <laughs> but is it really just gonna be that? Just gonna be provocation about her sister that sets her she off? She could have been successful if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. Here we go. Uh, it's, it's insulting her usefulness and whatnot. My sister has nothing to do with this. And that's the problem right there. Mm -hmm. She's trying to get out from under her sister's wing to establish herself. Yeah. I mean, I can't say as an adult because as an older teenager, she's in that stage between child and adult. Right, right, right. Not an adult yet, but that's kind of the whole point. Coming mm -hmm. of age, etc., yeah. etc. And so you've got to make your own way, mm -hmm. which she's being basically prevented from doing. By everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. Oh, that's Ooh. wonderful. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. No. She's been enduring oh. a lot for a long time. Do as I'm told. <laughs> You'll learn three million yen in no time. You know, hers might be the most explosive awakening. I'm looking forward to <laughs> that. I mean, it's the same crap she's been fed this whole time. And like I was saying, where I really do kind of identify and sympathize, i that's the same sort of stuff that just really gets me going. Remember her expression on the loading screen? Yeah. How where, terrifying she is? Yeah, it was like, I will kill all of you people. <laughs> also, it's ridiculous that he just said, go out there and be a prostitute. And almost in so many words. Mm -hmm. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. F and get him! Yeah. Shut your damn mouth, you money grubbing asshole! <laughs> huh? Walk right up in his face! 
Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Of strife! Come to me! Oh! Let us proceed with our contract at once. No hesitation! She just jumped <laughs> right in. Again, she I willed herself to be part of it. Yeah. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. Never lose sight of it again. I love that. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. Ah! <laughs> and I love how she cratered the ground. Yeah! But that's like... Oh my! What the hell? Motorcycle and chains? <laughs> what on earth? No, dude. It's a <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> Myself. Me. <laughs> it's just like I said, it was for herself. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. That's amazing. Or else I'll kill you. I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? Johanna. Huh. Well, we'll figure that one out shortly. Right now, we have some asses to kick. <laughs> Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave like this. I am done playing nice. So, she just said, I am now a part of this uh -huh. Phantom Thief thing when, when she initially like approached him. Yeah, it had to do with with uh, Kobayakawa basically forcing her to, but she just forced her way in. She made them do what she said. Uh -huh, she uh -huh. made them find a target. Then she made them or she made the target follow the rules uh -huh, necessary uh -huh. for the thieves to get in. Then she made the thing come down yeah, yeah, so she yeah. could get access to it. Then she made her, the persona happen. She yeah, just she said, called it out. She just said, I will <laughs> do this now and nothing is going to get in my way. And I love that. <laughs> Let's go, Johanna. Oh, that's a persona? I can do it too. <laughs> I like her biker outfit and all the spikes. Does she have brass knuckles? I, I I don't know. I can't tell, and I can't see what type of gun it is. I guess it's a pistol. Yeah. She's got brass knuckles. <laughs> uh, we'll find out shortly. So what do we got here? My persona. Yeah. New awesome. Vajra blast. Diorama even. Someone else with the healing ability. Okay, so Yusuke started with kind of poor, uh -huh. uh, poor skills. Though to be fair, in Yusuke's case, uh, he's got he's he's caught up with that, yeah. And his stats kind of balanced out, so he turned out really pretty strong. But she just starts out. But she starts out with pretty useful stuff right away. Do you like how the persona comes from off screen? That's that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at. Boom! <laughs> that's awesome. Kind of makes me think of uh, Shiva from Final Fantasy. Yeah, 13. yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Oh God! However, there's no way I can all out until I've taken out the Onis. And she can't baton pass, so... Well, in that case, let's try out Vajra Blast! <laughs> Darn it, I want to beat the Onis, not that one! Yeah. Take this. Black! Look at her portrait, she's just sullenly staring at us. Not sullen. Or not not sullen, but like pensive. Re uh, resolutely. Resolutely, yeah. With like without looking away. Don't let on die. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha! <laughs> First off, I'm gonna blow you up. Yeah. Looking cool, Joker! And then I'm just gonna baton pass right to on. And then nuke one of them with <laughs> Uh, Agilau. Yeah. And if I had Ryuji in the team, I already would have been using Karukaja. Oh, I see. I really want to do a regular attack, but I'm just going to have to save it. We'll see it plenty. Yeah. Yeah. 
I guess I should have used Moth Ray, but whatever. That's fine. Oh, dang it! Why is it always ice? Good job, on. Aw, oh, dang. I'll try this. Now that I have plenty of money, I don't have to worry about throwing <laughs> this stuff out. <laughs> Man, you leave my clown shoes out of this. <laughs> oh, did you notice that it broke her out of the freeze? Oh, cool. And her, her uh, idle stance from over there. She was kind of... Look. Oh, yeah, yeah, I noticed that. That's great. Yeah. Boom! I mean, it's not really that much damage, but it's exciting! Dang it! <laughs> Almost. Well, he's gonna die now. Ouch! You know, I probably should have had on guard, huh? Probably should have, yeah. I mean, we almost died there. Yeah! <laughs> we almost died. Now he's toast, but. Alright, Makoto, take him out! Now, let's get out of here! I wish I could have got, got him with an all out, though, but we'll see it. Yeah, yeah. It's just a matter of time. So you remember how recently we, we were we were joking? It was when we were in Mementos. You were joking about like Ryuji swapping out of the battle team. <laughs> You're right. And then Makoto just throws him out. Yeah, well, it sounds about right. Okay, so I remember looking at this when it just popped up in his next skill box. Uh huh. But uh, seriously, <laughs> heavy physical damage, which we haven't had access to for thirty six. And it pow yeah, it's cheap. And it powers up after a baton pass. It's true, we haven't had a chance to start Yusuke's confidant yet, but powers up after a baton pass. That's really great. That is redonkulous. <laughs> Once he actually gets baton pass. Maybe, maybe that's why. We know how to get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. Time to book it! That is awesome! But how are we getting out? By just busting the heck out! Yeah! Smash through the wall! There's only one exit, right? <laughs> Sup, Miss Post-Apocalyptic Raider? <laughs> I guess he is kind of like a Mad Max character, in a way. Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> Mad Makoto? I'm going on ahead, so follow me. <laughs> I love, I love it. That's Damn. great. <laughs> no, no, gotta stay true to on. Gotta stay true to on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a path. <laughs> Get in. Can't, can't wait for Makoto to see this one. Right. So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. What an interesting approach. It's different from the other two. Yeah. Madarame was completely uninvolved, and Kamoshida always, like, ran away screaming every time <laughs> something got in his way, but he was ready at the end, of course. Yeah. But it looks like Kaneshiro is actively attempting to fight back. That's oh, interesting. I wonder what's going to happen. There's no escape in reality, nor will you break through the security system here. And he's so aware of everything. Like the difference between the metaverse and mm -hmm. the real world. Mm -hmm. There's not a snowball's chance in hell that a bright future lies ahead for you. We'll see about that, Pigo. <laughs> Man, talk about wild. Yeah, <laughs> that was freaking awesome. That was amazing. That was no Aikido. That was a <laughs> hardcore ass whooping. <laughs> no, I can't wait to see her attack. Yes. I am so not pissing her off. <laughs> I feel like she'll rip off my arm. Yep. She does exude that aura. Murderous intent. <laughs> yeah, it's completely. You know, your your persona is kind of like your your absolute inner nature, your it's like unrepressed self. Yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. In a lot of ways, I mean. Because your shadow is your repressed self. Once you conquer it, that becomes your persona, at least, to, sort of. To, to a degree, to yeah. a degree. But anyway, it's like she is ha, does have no inhibitions like that because her, her whole life, the thing that's been eating away at her is all the inhibitions. Yes. Inhibitions placed on her by, or imposed on her by others, and mm -hmm. inhibitions 
that she herself has put upon herself. So yes. that's really cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'll stop fangasming now. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> I'm so this embarrassed. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. Just like years of buildup. Yeah, well. It felt pretty great. The awakening fatigue, too. Yeah. I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. And you see, she just said I'm part of the Phantom Thieves. Well, she is. She is, sure. But no one else was instantly, yeah. like, like Yusuke wasn't instantly part uh -huh. of the thieves. It wasn't like, well, what are you going to do now? She's just like, now I am a phantom <laughs> thief. Do you understand? This might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. And no one's questioning it because they're terrified of her. <laughs> she's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the phantom thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? <laughs> uh, yeah? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. And so she's like, well, now that I actually have this inside information, it's pretty safe. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to worry about. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. Except for the fact that all these persons of interest in the high-profile Phantom Thieves cases are always congregating together. Ah, but no one's going to know about her involvement with Kaneshiro. That's right. That's absolutely right. Makoto is in the clear. Yes. At least Makoto is. Yes. Oh, yeah, because Saya was surprised. The other four of them are toast, though. Ah, you, well, you know. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. And I'm still really interested in what she was saying about her father. Yeah, yeah. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but there are times I feel sorry for her, too. I mean, is she happy? Does she get fulfillment out of it? Maybe she is, and maybe she does. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. She was she was just like, oh, you're my persona? Get the f*** out of here. Yeah. Exactly that. you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. Or, or that she <laughs> hates being that type of reserved. I, I'm really reserved, but I, I hate it. It's kind of the same. Are you about to have your persona awakened? Well, no. Okay. okay. You don't have to worry. For one, this isn't the metaverse. That's true. That's true. You, you know the metaverse isn't real, right, Billy? What? I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Uh-huh. That's what I was like in high school. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Advisor? Shouldn't you put her on the front? She can still be... Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. We're all stupid! <laughs> <laughs> I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, <laughs> so I feel much better. I, yeah. I just realized I'm suddenly... A I'm terrified of you! A different ringtone! It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. That's why the, the little PPPPs were red. <laughs> because it was from the bad Huzzah! guy. Huzzah! I see. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. Didn't have to be told. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. So I get, when did he get her number? I guess he took the phone and got yeah. her number from it. Well, he was looking at the phone like, is this your boyfriend's number? Yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Yeah, like, certainly don't go and pay him any money. Right? I'm not I'm not parting with this this million yen. It's mine until I spend it. We, <laughs> we worked hard left, for it. Huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great. We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Yes! <laughs> Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. I wonder what her, her like, all-out attack windscreen is going to look like. Maybe she's just going to be perched on top of them, just pummeling <laughs> the crap out of it over and over and over and over. <laughs> Or like, I'll effing kill you, yeah. or something like that. No, it's probably not that bad, but... <laughs> First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. We'll explain it to you, you'll get it faster, and you'll understand it better than we do now. <laughs> you guys are finally 
starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Yes, give me your contact information. <laughs> so, I'm sure hoping that I can find a time to hang out with Yusuke, though. We had to pass it up. We've got to... three weeks. I know, but is he going to be available? We passed it up to go to Mementos. I'm sure it'll be available again. But while the palace is going, am I going to be able to hang out with anybody? We have before. It's infrequent, though. Yeah, that's true, but Kamoshida. Damn, motorcycles are cool! I wish my persona was like that. I just got a stupid galleon or whatever it's called. Yeah, dude, you have a pirate riding a boat <laughs> like a skateboard. You're fine. <laughs> I mean, now, if the motorcycle also transformed into a robot, yours is on a ship, though. Dude, you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than dumb boats. You're the one who came up with the boat, man. What does that say about you? Shut up! It'll be just like the song. I'm a phantom on a steel horse I ride. That's not how the song goes. Don't say such things. And for the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Honestly, I'm mostly just surprised you know how to ride a motorcycle at all, Nijima Senpai. Do you got a license? A regular one, yes. Nice. I can't wait to get my hands on one, too. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What is the matter? I'm sorry, everyone. I know I'm not in any position to be saying that. I truly do. However, I must apologize, and you'll accept it or I'll beat you up. Yes, ma'am! Whatever my you say! <laughs> it was my actions that dragged all of you into this mess. On top of that, I misunderstood your true intentions in this. If only I could have realized what was happening to Suzui-san, too. Man, she's really covering all her bases, and she just jumped right in to say this all from her own, all of her own volition. It's that is the right way to handle it. Mm -hmm. Also, the top of the screen is getting kind of messy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we don't need to talk about that now. I like how her icon is kind of distant and gazing off into the distance, kind of. Yeah. It seems there's still lingering issues on everyone's minds. Now's not the time to be talking about that shit, though. Watch your language. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Don't we gotta be doing something about Kaneshiro? He's right. Very well. I understand. Anyway, I will do my best to make sure I don't slow you all down. Don't so think... don't slow me down, either. You can say that <laughs> after you've got baton pass, alright? <laughs> At that point, you can say it. Until then, no. <laughs> well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago. But Beauty's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Also, I'm so happy I found another Persona user. <laughs> Where do these people come from? Damon, I'm terrified. I mean, come on, look at that. It looks like she's trying to kill you. She's got her fist up like that. She's got that sort of evil looking eye on the right hand side of her face. Okay, so stat wise, uh, she seems pretty balanced with this. Strength being her highest, but she's also several levels lower, so we'd have to, like, get a little bit of time yeah, on her to yeah. see what her stat spread's gonna look like. Um, so apparently, Johanna is the female pope. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the female pope, nor did I even know her name. I didn't even know there was a female pope. Well, that's the thing. According to, uh, legend, so to speak, uh -huh. there really was a female pope. Uh, in, in fact... Yeah, her existence shook the history of the Catholic Church. It led to some pretty amusing... It led to some pretty amusing customs in a while, or for, for a few hundred years in the Middle Ages and early Renaissance, uh -huh. about, like, basically checking to make sure the Pope's junk is there so that, <laughs> so that no other females come up and become Pope like this. The, the thing is about Johanna is... There's actually, as far as I'm aware... No proof that she really existed. Oh! It's just kind of legendary. She may have. Uh -huh. I don't know. Still, it's sort of romantic, I suppose. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she wasn't a motorcycle, though. I think we can definitively say that. Yes, there have been no motorcycle popes. <laughs> well, tonight we should get a visit from Igor again, right? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, all that other stuff being said, it's time to move on. But if we've really got three weeks... We've got to do some other stuff before we get to the palace. Oh yeah, totally. A motorcycle-shaped persona, huh? 
Do you feel a kinship, Morgana? You know, I can turn into a car too, so it's <laughs> like I feel a sense of familiarity. Just like you said. So that's why you instantly accepted her as well. Also your own <laughs> selfish reasons, which makes sense and are well established. <laughs> Maybe you're a persona? But can a persona have a persona? Oh, dang. I <laughs> I don't actually like motorcycles all that much. Me either. I don't, I don't dislike them. My cousin took me on one and... Terrified the hell out of me. I look at it as a death machine. Exactly. I think, I think about all the bike wrecks I had when I was younger, mm -hmm. and I just know that if I got on a motorcycle, I will die. <laughs> so I just never really cared for them because of that. Uh, and I don't get car sick. I do. So it's not fun. That's the only one. All right, kitty. Complain and squawk. I I really like Morgana. What? Uh, no. I'm supposed to be human. <laughs> well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. A lot of contests, Morgana. I really am special after all. Huh? Yeah? Yeah? Very? No. Take somewhere? Huh. Yeah. Something just crossed my mind. What's this about? It's no use. I can't remember at all. Almost had a memory, huh? <sighs> it's important. There's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. There's no way we can get anything from it now, but we can apply this to future events. All right. Mm -hmm. What was that horrible look on your face? I don't know. Just a little something I've been sitting on. Don't worry about it. There's not really enough for me to okay, make so a compelling argument of it. Something to come back to. Yeah, yeah. Something we'll come, come back, back to it. Later. I've got a bit of a theory. Well, I mean, the only sort of transportation that seems relevant to the game that we know of is people getting on the subway in Mementos. Yep. So there might be some relation to that. But it's just rank speculation at this point. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. I need to concentrate on raising my charm for now. Unlike <laughs> you guys, Makoto's clever. So we can expect great things from her. Hey, Yusuke's smart! But man, you really do have something special. He's also dumb at the same time, though. We already talked about that. It. I just got lucky. Yeah. I mean, Looks another like I Sony step user. Up my game too. No, no, the whole the wild card. Oh yeah, yeah. But it has nothing to do with with me. That's true. Sweet. All right. <laughs> Kitty talk. All right. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos, too. Yeah, she'll probably be able to help you come up with something. <laughs> I'm sure Makoto's yeah. brain can... Hello? <laughs> <laughs> now puke on his face! <laughs> Do it! Uh, we got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Now stick your butt in his face! No! <laughs> Could there be some reason for it? Huh. Nah, that can't be. Then Igor sneezes and, like, just coats the entire front part of the Velvet Room in mucus. <laughs> well, the main character of a persona is always something special. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I've been thinking a lot about personas and palaces since yesterday. Makes sense. That floating bank really reflects Kaneshiro's personality. Uh, out of the reach of others? He thinks he's above everyone else. Yeah. He's flying around so no one can trace his steps. He doesn't trust anyone. <sighs> I bet security's tight in there too. I wonder how many trips it'll take us. I mean, if we get a whole extra week, that must mean that this palace is, is going to be a lot longer. Mm -hmm. That's why we should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? It's a little early, don't you think? <laughs> Understood. I'm sure you have your reasons as the leader. Yeah, my social life. <laughs> I'll leave my schedule open after school, so talk to me anytime. That way you can get my confidant link up. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room for once. Yeah, normally the other way around. 
although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. T takamaki san Anyway, um... I wanted to apologize. I'm really sorry for everything. I mean, she did mm -hmm. really go after Makoto and suspected her and her motives pretty hardcore. Right. Because of gossip that she heard. I know. What do you mean? You know how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. Takamaki-san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me, and I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt, so I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. Incidentally, didn't that just come up in the last confidant scene with On? You're right! I'm very sorry. Hey, there is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone, not Suzuri-san, and not any of Kanishiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. It felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. No, I, I, I know what she means. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly towards you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm-hmm. Oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason <laughs> we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> That way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out that I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Um, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm going to do the same, Makoto. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Ooh, I know a place. There's a crap shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mm, let's each get a whole one and then we can go half and half on those. Well, shall we? They friends now! <laughs> I realize this is a mite late, but uh, how should I refer to you, Nijima-san? I believe some courtesy should be shown to those who are our senior. Oh yeah, should we call you Nijima-san or like Nijima-senpai? No need to be formal, just treat me the same way you would anyone else. Or else. We're honored! This is a big deal, you know. Ain't that too formal? I already just call her by name because I'm special. <laughs> For real? Did something happen? That's a secret between us girls. You know, that's only going to make it worse. Damn it, that sounds like fun. All of you may call me by my first name. No need to hesitate. Very well, I shall do just that. <laughs> oh, also, Sakamoto-kun, don't text in class. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, Buji just calmly listens to whatever she says. <laughs> Our next target is a criminal, one that even the police can't handle. We'll take care of him ourselves and leave the world speechless. Mission start! I love that, every That's time. so great. Finally! Finally, Billy! I got to spend all that 
money or quite a great deal of it. Yeah, I was going to say, you say all that, but we're still almost to a million. <laughs> right, I uh, went ahead and sold all the treasure, and with that, and buying the new stuff, only came out to about 160000 uh, You know, we've still got tons of cash. It's so wonderful to buy whatever we want without having to worry about it. So while wandering around, since the area is new, we're in a brand new section, mm -hmm. so got to catch up with everybody. Much to my surprise, a certain detective just happens to be uh, loitering around Yon Germain, a bakery. Are you saying there's something wrong with enjoying pastries? No, I'm just surprised that he's standing around. I mean, he's technically a confidant, but he doesn't show up as a confidant in Third That's Eye. That's true. That's true. Because, you know... He's, he's a weird kind of confidant. Suspicious, but I mean, <laughs> according to the box, he's a party member, so we'll see how it goes. But, what's up? Ah, it's you. I'm glad you decided to speak to me. Well, you are just milling about, and you're pretty important, so I may as well see if you have any tips on shopping or whatever. Well, I am by a bakery. What on earth are you doing here, man? I had some time until the taping began, so I decided to walk around for a while. I've heard many groups about a rumor criminal lately. <laughs> you're so charismatic! I've heard many rumors about a criminal group lately. I hope you have avoided involvement. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I have nothing to do with any criminal group whatsoever. I promise. <laughs> Dot. I mean, he doesn't need to worry. Mm -hmm. Is everything okay? <laughs> However, you needn't hesitate to ask if you require help. I have police connections, you know. So... Catchy. Yeah? You said you were waiting for the taping to begin. Are you just on TV every day? Are you actually... Yes. <laughs> are you actually a, like, private detective who works with the police? Or are you just, like, a daytime television celebrity? Well, of the two things that you have mentioned, everyone looks at me as one thing, but I swear I'm the other thing. I'll leave it to your imagination. Oh. By the by, this city is never short on excitement. First that train accident, now this mafia. Not to mention the Phantom Thieves. I've thought of a great many things during my stroll. Care How coincidental I should run into you on them. Care to share anything? That reminds me. Did the Phantom Thieves go to the Madarame exhibit before committing their crime? Wouldn't they have to have? How would they have done it otherwise? I suppose so. I only say this because I have access to the security footage there. And I thought I should bring it to your attention. What are you talking about? I like art. What is their goal? And who might their next target? And who might be their next target? I'm so sorry. Hey, isn't that a catchy coon? Oh, it is. I'm going to go ask for a picture with him. It seems I've been gaining more recognition lately. I would love to chat more, but I really must be going. I hate fangirls. I hope to speak to you again soon. Ah, oh, they sure love you, though. Huh. Wonder how this is gonna work. Finally, could it be? After all this time, you skate! Hang out with us. Let's hang out. Do you remember how I mentioned my need to understand the heart? You know, Anz have, you know, all this talk about hearts. Anz trying to strengthen her heart. Right. And then... Yusuke wants to understand the heart. He wants to understand the hearts of others and himself and so that he can actually be able to paint the subject. And Yoshida is trying to reach the hearts of others. Mm -hmm. Just, just want to point that and out And the there. Phantom Thieves are trying to change people's hearts. Right, right, right. I mean, that is the point of the game, yes. I and just wanted to point that out, that it was a nice touch, that I they're so consistent with the theming. Yeah, I agree, and it's, it's interesting, too. Well, I am having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? You can have me pop a model nude for ya! Model nude! I, oh, I'm just going to go away now. Thank God! <laughs> Gino, what should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? Oh! I... I mean, all of those are technically the same thing? I mean, not, not really. They evoke different ideas. Yeah! How about a dream world? A dream world. The abyss held within one's unconsciousness, personal to each and every one of us. Ah, oh, I see. Mementos! Dang, you were right. I knew it was going to come to it. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. That sounds terrible! <laughs> yeah! Incredible. 
You honestly have a unique perspective on things. Okay. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. You're gonna hang out in mementos? What the hizzy? Excuse me, passing shadow. Oh. This distorted realm teeming with shadows. The physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. It is that one of the Mementos target portals behind us? Maybe he can kind of make one of these himself, <laughs> considering what he's doing to come in. <laughs> the same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Oh god. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. Hmm. I understand exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how terrible of a place the world really is. Right. Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serve to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? Have you been overcome by the urge to paint? <laughs> like a, a shadow walks up and is like, Paint me like one of your French girls! <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as it's not Incubus, we're good. <laughs> I guess if you spend enough time on Google, you might be able to find Jack Frost porn. Uh... <laughs> so, give me your brush! I know just what to draw! <laughs> Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. The lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. He's so intense. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yes. Inspiration has struck. <laughs> that must be it. Such brilliant composition. Ah, my heart races. I knew it. <laughs> How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. <laughs> this... I swear to God, if this shadow asks to be painted. Oh. Cool. Huh. So, there's going to be a battle in, in the Yusuke. Con it's a boss battle? What? Viscid rotted meat. They should be weak to fire. This is kind of awesome, isn't yeah. it? Yeah! <laughs> Bam! I'm not sure how that happened, but you can hit them with Mafre now. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Boof! Whoa, okay. This is actually bad now that I look at it. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Oh. No, you're fine. They're all gonna self-destruct and you'll take, like, nothing for damage. Is there a battle going on? What What was that? I don't even know! Ah, oh, but you got a blank card. Because didn't you say that Yusuke was gonna paint yeah. Yeah, that's cards? What, yeah, that's what you guys said to us. It seems I've become too passionate. <laughs> he just <laughs> generated those himself. Whoops. Was well, starting to go a little berserk there. Yeah, yeah. Also, we don't even know what to do with blank cards, or don't have anything to do with them yet. So yeah. it only makes sense that Yusuke, like, actually turns them into something. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. What? What's what? a Theo? Please. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Oh yeah, he was the one that I who. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. No. They had a, a close relationship, and a lot of what we know about uh, about Van Gogh today comes from his correspondence with his brother. Mm. And I think his brother actually died pretty young, too, and that kind of ruined Van Gogh's life. I see. I Van Gogh see. did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. I might be wrong about all that. 
An admirer? Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. Mm. It's pretty fun. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? Yeah, like for some reason, when we fight monsters, you've noticed that they tend to drop items. Now, I don't know how a slime turns into a muscle drink. <laughs> Best not to dwell on it. But anyway, this one gave us a card. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. Puts like a little smiley face on it, just doodles. <laughs> victory cry! Yes, write victory cry, please! Impossible. Good. <laughs> What's this noise? That, he's painting on it. I know, but it sounds a little suggestive. And of course, his artistic intensity. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. It, nay, even fury! I love it! What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... Okay, what's gonna appear next? Ooh. Recarm? Great! We don't have that yet! The picture turned into a real skill card? That's awesome! Oh, that is pretty awesome! Would you mind helping me further? It's not like I can use any of these, but... Yeah! If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. So I guess with Yusuke, it's going to be getting inspiration, or helping him regain his inspiration? Yeah. His artistic no. confidence? Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? Yeah? It's a deal! Great. I promise your returns will be well worth your cooperation. I love how different every confidant is. I I, I mean, that's the norm for Persona, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that I'm not going to actively appreciate it every time. Right. I do think it's a little late for this, don't yeah. you? Yeah, didn't she already mention something about art thievery? We've had Yusuke for some time. <laughs> Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings. Replicas of the same design. I just hadn't used them yet. <laughs> I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? Paint cards. Yeah, duh. She just said it. I mean, what? <laughs> I like how she was like, what is this? Thou art I. Some new tra trading card game? With the birth of the Emperor Persona, Emperor! I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. I play Maragi face down in attack mode. <laughs> okay. Duplicate low rank skill cards. All right. I wonder, if you get him all the way up, does he get the ability to draw new ones? Surely not. Uh, that would be too unbalancing. Probably. Well, not... Getting him to max is going to take some effort. Maybe, why not? Well, because his final level would just be upgrading his persona. Oh, that's fair. Ah, oh, you give him a card and the card you want to copy. Okay. And you get it the next day. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. That is a really neat mechanic. I'll see you later. Well, I was hoping to get to know him more, but that'll happen in the future. Yeah. I mean, it would have to start like this. Surely they're not all going to be in mementos. <laughs> Though if they were, I guess that'd be okay. Every other event except, right, not even Takemi, one of her events was in the park. They're not always going to be in the same spot. Oh yeah, mental floss. Mail order floss. Yay. <laughs> Stick it in one ear, pull out the other. 